about 5.45 p.m. and I got off work about 45 minutes ago and had decided during the day that it was a perfect day out to go camping. Look at that, look at that, look at that. It's uh, surprisingly not going to be too hot tonight and I'm afraid we are not gonna have many more of these nights. So I wanna take advantage. However, it is Wednesday currently, so um, Maddie and I both have work tomorrow, so she is holding off tonight and staying home with the dogs. Therefore, tonight is going to be a solo camping cook, and if y'all haven't guessed already, having chicken quesadillas, ladies and gents, going with the El Clasico. Um, going very simple, chicken, cheese, um, that is about it. Butter to mix it uh, in and let it uh, cook in, but uh, other than that, that's it. Man, so pretty. So, the point of today's video is finally got a rooftop tent freaking finally i've been wanting one since about 2016 17 ish i don't really know exactly when it was sometime around that winter um been wanting one since though and we finally got one so tonight is going to be the first night camping in it so i'm going to take y'all along with me and show y'all how it goes so i'm really hoping there's a campsite out here i'm kind of assuming there is. There should be like four or five different ones and uh, I don't know why they'd be taken up on a random Wednesday. So uh, yeah, keep your fingers crossed though anyway, so. All right, so this is the campsite that we're working with. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Came in over there, uh, not the campsite that I originally had in mind, pulled up to that one and there was some people there uh, in the back of it. So had to switch it up and come over to this one. Luckily, nobody is over here. Was a little sketchy getting in here and going through a little mud hole at the beginning, but hey, we got through it and we're set up. So we're camping. Unfortunately, this one does not have quite as good of a water view as the other one that I was wanting to go to. Um, I was wanting to do the cooking on the water. Doesn't look like that's going to be an option here. That's okay though. Um, I'm gonna set up over there by the car and just do it over there. Good grief, look at that freaking view. Oh my gosh. So freaking pretty. So. I hadn't actually ever been back to this campsite, so luckily this worked out. Um, got the tent set up already. It's currently a little after 6.30. Gonna go ahead and get the grill out and whip up some chicken quesadillas. So let's get to it.
All right, so gonna let the chicken cook, turn nice and brown, throw it on some tortillas with some cheese, and then make some quesadillas. So, oh, in the meantime, just out here, enjoying the views. This is a much, much needed little getaway. Um, like I said, currently Wednesday, I do have work tomorrow, so not gonna be able to stay here and enjoy it tomorrow. Uh, just here for the night. Probably gonna get up around 5.30, 5.45-ish and head on home. However, that is not what we are focusing on. We are gonna enjoy it and make the most of tonight and focus on that. So let's get back to cooking. All right, so I think the chicken is just about done. I'm gonna let it go just a little bit longer and then get these quesadillas made. I am starving. I haven't really ate much today. I had a little burrito meal prep bowl, but other than that, that's about it. So I am about to chow down once this is done. Make sure all the chicken's done. I believe so. On to phase two. We don't got a bathroom tonight, so might as well make ourselves not be able to go, am I right? Leave that for a little bit longer and make us up another one. So I did forget a lid to cover the top and let it get steamy in there to help it melt the cheese, but we are making it work and I think these things are going to turn out just fine. Oof. 
That one's gonna be even better. Might even add a little bit more cheese, to be honest. Like a burrito. <laughs> oh, good grief. All right, so that one is probably gonna take a little bit longer to melt the cheese, gonna wait for that to finish up, and then probably just kick back, relax, enjoy the nice scenery, eat the food. I think those quesadillas are gonna turn out 10 out of 10. Um, don't really have much of a plan other than that. Don't have any phone service out here. I did bring a book though, so might do a little bit of reading. Brought my uh, sketch pad as well. Might do a little bit of drawing, but probably just gonna do a bit of relaxing and just enjoy it. <clears throat> mm. So freaking pretty out. All I can hear is birds and nature and stuff like that. So anyways, back to cooking. I am hungry and ready for this food to finish up. These are looking freaking phenomenal. All right, yeah, I should have added more cheese to that one. I am definitely munching into that one first. No offense to that, but that is looking like the better quesadilla. And I'm very hungry, so that's gonna be the one I'm going for first. We're gonna leave it just a little bit longer and then I think we're gonna be good to go. So I am thinking this bad boy is done as well. <sighs> Goodness. Let's go ahead and get that off. All right, gonna go ahead and get the grill cleaned up and then chill out, eat this food and enjoy. So the finished product, <sighs> two fat chicken cheese quesadillas. Very, very, very basic, but I didn't want anything too hard. Like I said, I did have work today, left about 20 minutes after I got off. Once I got off, I was sitting on go and I was ready to rumble. I walked mine and Maddie's doggos and then had everything loaded already, got it loaded on my lunch break and took off. It's a little after 7.30 p.m. Should have close to an hour of daylight left. Got to munch down on these quesadillas and kick back, relax, and enjoy this beautiful scenery. Look at that. Gonna have to pop open the sunroof thing in a minute and uh, sleep with that back, so yeah. All right, moment of truth, moment of truth. Get some sour cream, first bite. Yeah, this was the move. This was the move for something quick and simple and after work. Also didn't want really anything too hard to clean up because like I said, gonna have to get up about 5.30, 5.45, head on back to the house and get ready for work. So gonna really enjoy this and then really, really enjoy my, my night's sleep. All right, so I'm just set back here, enjoying the quesadillas. I'd say these things are hitting at a solid 
8.5 out of 10 right now. Solid, solid 8.5. Got a nice little view. Popped open my little sunroof. Just enjoying it. Right, gonna finish up eating. Right, clean up my table, get the ice chest put up, and figure out something to do after that. So I'm all finished up with the quesadillas, got everything packed up and put away, and just currently kicked back and enjoying these views that I am fortunate enough to have. So, yeah. I was going to open my book and read, but uh, I kind of get sidetracked when I do that, and I am not the best reader. I can read about five to ten pages at a time. After that, I am done. So, I'm going to sit here and enjoy the scenery while I can, and take advantage of this last 20 30 minutes of daylight so yeah i think this is how i am going to enjoy the evening and sunset So honestly, I need to double check it, but there might be a through hike that goes through this campsite. I don't really know. Well, I know there's one at least, possibly two um, backpacking trails through here. So uh, I don't know. Anyways, it is getting dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and get on up in here. Get cozy down for the night. If I'm being honest, I don't even know that we're gonna need the blanket. However, Gonna get it out just in case, because it is not that big of a hassle, and wha-pa! Just a little plug right quick. Ozark Trail at Walmart, $25 for this blanket. Freaking crazy. I think it's like 60 by 70 inches, maybe. Not down, of course, but definitely feels nice. And tonight, <clears throat> it's only supposed to get down to like, I don't know, 60s, like low 60s, maybe like 58 or so. Um, so I don't even know that I'll use that, to be honest. But, this is the setup we're going with. Blanket literally fits perfect in here. So perfect. So, like I had said, only supposed to get down to around low 60s, high 50s tonight, which in Arkansas for late May, that is unheard of. So, you already know we had to take advantage. Um, really don't think it's going to be this cool this long. Um... I say cool in loose terms, like I said. Low 60s, high 50s, late May for Arkansas, that is unheard of, so we are taking full advantage. Maddie and I are gonna try to take the doggos out and go camping this weekend, however, it is Memorial Day weekend, so uh, kinda think all the spots might be filled up, so uh, yeah, gonna keep our fingers crossed on that. Anyways, it's currently about nine o'clock, I'm not really that tired, and uh, just want to lay here and enjoy the noises. Let me uh, turn the light off and show you what I'm listening to. So yeah, very, very peaceful. Um, I think it's been about five months. Uh, I believe it was early January, the last time I went camping. So this is a long overdue and very, very much needed camping trip. Like I said, got to be up about 5.30, 5.45, um, get back home and get to work. So I think I'm just going to lay here, let my mind wander, listen to these nice nature sounds, and just doze off. Uh, see y'all in the morning.
morning everyone um currently about 4 30 a.m i went to bed at about 9 15 my internal alarm kind of just went off didn't plan on getting up till about 5 30 but like i said about 4 30 and i'm wide awake right now so i'm gonna go ahead and get the tent packed up and get on out of here i think it is a little dark out still ladies and gents So yeah, gonna go ahead and get this thing packed up and get on out of here. talk about. Does not look like much, but it does get a little deep over there. Got to kind of stay in the middle on this and ride it out. So, gonna hopefully make it back across that and not get stuck. Yeah. Oh, the mud hitting the car. That's gonna be fantastic to clean off later. <laughs> so, as you can see, currently about 4.45 a.m. Typically, I would not head out this early from camping. However, like I said, it is Thursday currently and I do have work today. So, I gotta get home and get ready for that. Luckily, I do work from home, so don't gotta go far for that. Anyways, I think it was a very successful first night camping in the uh, rooftop tent and had a nice little meal to go along with it. Like I said, um, I've been wanting a rooftop tent for probably about five or six years now, so it's been a long time coming and I am very, very happy to finally have got one. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have a great rest of the day. Until next time, peace.